Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is a NAS and do you need one? So let's get right into it. To start off, let's talk about what is a NAS. So a NAS or a network attached storage device is basically just that. It's a storage device that is connected through the network and that you also access through your home or your office network. So a NAS consists of a computer of some sort that can run some basic software. So you have a lot of different sop software options to run on a NAS system like this. You can get so you can get software like free NAS or true NAS. You can even run Windows on it if you really want to. I've done it in the past and it works. And then you could also go for a paid version, something like Synology, which they actually have full NAS boxes that you can buy. You li literally just put your hard drives in or some of them even ships with hard drives and then you're, you're connected to your network and you're off to the races. But let's quickly look at how a NAS works. So a NAS is basically a computer and there is hard drives connected to it, a minimum of one hard drive and it can literally go all the way up. I think your system or your budget will definitely be your limiting factors there. And the type of, it doesn't need to be hard drives. It can actually be hard drives or SSDs, like 2.5 inch SSDs, or in some cases, even NVMe drives for really fast storage or for like a cache drive. In the NAS, you will have some sort of storage device, a minimum of one, but not preferably. So how this works is, is basically you have all of your hard drives uh, created as one pool or, or you could do two pools if you want to. So what that means is, is you will, there'll be like in this, let's take this for example, there'll be four drives inside of your NAS, but you'll actually see it over the network as just one big drive. Uh, the volume will be depending on how you set this up with, let's say you use a RAID configuration. It would depend on what you choose. Let's say you take like a RAID 5, which has a one drive uh, parity. So that means if, let's say, in this case you have four drives and you, one of your drives just completely fails, you would still have all of your information on the remaining three drives. And then if you just uh, buy a new drive and put that back in, the data will actually rebuild. If you, you have, I think that's a manual process. Then you rebuild the data and then your storage pool is really unaffected and you didn't lose any data, although you did lose a physical disk. So inside of an NAS, you, you typically get something like this as well. So this is a RAID card. So basically all that that does is take your PCIe slot and just changes that to a interface that you can use for your hard drives or SSD. So that will either be some sort of a SATA connector or a SAS connector. So let's really look at why you would want an NAS. Well, let's say you have quite a big family, you have got a desktop computer, you've got laptop, uh, some other family members or people in your, off or in your office, you have multiple computers, uh, laptops and all that. So you wanna be able to access all of your data from each of those machines, but you don't want all of the data on all of the machines because that's kind of a waste. And then how would you sync all of the data together? So if you change one thing on your laptop, it changes on your desktop as well. So that is where a NAS is really handy. So your NAS is connected to the network, as I previously said, and then all the devices on your network can connect to the to your NAS. So after, you, so after all of your devices is connected to your NAS, then you can actually use that storage just like you're using a USB drive that you plugged in directly into your laptop or computer. It is really that simple. And the speed transfers, depending on your network, could be faster than, much faster than a USB stick or even, a, or even an external drive. So then on your NAS, all of your information is saved and all the members of your family or in your office can have access to that information. And if one, if one person updates something, it updates for all the users in real time. Uh, the other nice thing about an NAS is, is you can actually create like snaps, snapshots or backups of your information so that you know it will always be safe. So let's say something happens to your NAS, maybe there's a power surge and your motherboard dies or a multiple hard drive dies then you would still have a backup, but this has to be on a separate system, just to be aware of that, so you can't like backup it to the same system. Uh, you have to update that to a completely different NAS, which is preferably uh, off-site. Yeah, but that's a discussion for another day. So then all of your information is there on a NAS. You can even create different users. So let's say some of the users can only see these, fi or these folders, or they can only see the folders, but they can change or write to there. And yeah, there's a lot of configuration options when it comes to a NAS. 
So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about NASAs and how they work. And if you need one, uh, leave a comment, subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.